let's take a look at Rabbit Labs USB-C to flipper board. That's what it's called here on the board, but it's also called the Super Serial Board. And this is a very versatile board in terms of it can update a lot of different modules um, for the Flipper Zero and stuff not even for the Flipper Zero. Um, a lot of things I don't really understand about this board, but I find it very versatile because you're able to update things on it uh, for the flipper, and we'll, we'll go through that a little bit, um, that are not necessarily from Rabbit Labs, but and you don't need your Flipper Zero to do it. You just need this board. So let's kind of go through that a little bit. Let's look at the board here. Uh, super cool, the way it is laid out, the way Rabbit has it all laid out. Uh, again, we've got the little Rabbit logo. It says Rabbit Labs right there. The serial bowl because this is the super serial board. It can do 3 volt, 5 volt. It can do a bunch of stuff. It was created. <laughs> here we go. This is the back. It was created, I read, because Rabbit didn't want to always be using a Flipper Zero to update the this board right here, this uh, Marauder, the Marauder um, Minion, calls it, from Rabbit Labs. Banana, banana. So yeah, that's why it was created. And we'll update this one and some other boards here uh, that aren't even from Rabbit Labs. So let's take a look. First thing I wanna do is plug it into my computer with the USB-C, it has a USB-C right here. You can see USB-C, if we can get it into focus right there. Got a USB-C, yeah, there we go. Almost, USB-C right there. And that's how we're gonna plug it into our computer. And you can see that it's kind of got this, these GPIO slots right here, fitted the same spacing, the same numbers as what is on our flipper zero. All right, so first thing we want to do is plug it into our computer. 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 Just use the keyboard. All right, so let's try to update this guy first, right? So we'll use Rabbit Labs with Rabbit Labs, make sure that works. And what we're going to do is update it with Marauder using. FC Easy, which is a piece of software written to update all this Marauder type stuff. All right, so let me just take a look here. This was this piece of software we're going to use was written by um, Skeleton Man, and it is the FZ Easy Flasher. So we'll just take a look at it right over here, right? So we've got the FC Easy Flasher, and we've got the board plugged in. We can see it's all lit up, ready to go, right? So in this case, what I wanna do, because this board is the Minion board, and there's a specific option for the Minion board, so I'm gonna hit six. Before I do that, before I hit the number six, we gotta make sure we poke some eyes out, right? We need the boot and the reset button. So the left eye, right eye, boop. Let go of the left eye, let go of the right eye. Now we should be ready to flash this sucker. Let's take a look. We'll go back here. Remember that option was six. So we'll press the number six and go. Now I can tell right away this is working because it's erasing the flash, or it's erasing uh, what's on the, the chip already. It's gonna go through its thing. We can see it working over here, communicating. So this is, I believe this is our receiving, and this is our transmitting. I think that's what it is. Yeah, receiving and transmitting. So it's doing its thing. We're currently at 22%. 22% and going. 
very cool. So it is absolutely working. And we'll test it afterwards to make sure that it is working. And the cool thing is, watch what we do. We're gonna test it right after we start flashing another board. So that's kind of nifty. What are we at right now? 54%, 54% and going. This FC Easy Marauder Flash tool, uh, it's brilliant. It has a lot of diff different options on it. We're almost done here with flashing this one and then uh, we'll go on to a different board. 84%, 86%, getting real close here. Just about done. And that's it. All right, the screen disappeared. We are good to go. So now what we'll do is we'll take this out. We'll set it aside for a second and we'll go on to this section 80 board. The Game Overboard by Section 80, another wonderful little board. And now that I'm making this video, I notice there's a minion on this one, and this is the minion board. I wonder, I mean, I don't think they're, they work together or conjoin twins, but maybe they are, who knows? All right, so we plug this board in. If I can get it in there, gently. Push it in. We can see that the Section 80 board lights up. And we can actually use this board from this right now because it has its own screen and own interface. We could use it. Now, the software is 13.10, which is the current software, but we're going to flash it anyway just to show you. So the first thing I need to do on this board, boot, reset, go, go boot. And now we should be ready to flash. This software is the dirty flasher that Section 80 has created. So we go over here and we can see that we need to press number two. So we'll press number two, boom, enter. And it says which which port do we want to use? I happen to know it's on COM39. It's usually the highest one. So we'll hit two, Let's see what happens. All right, oh, it wants me to do this configuration right now. So I will do that. Hold down boot, reset, let go of boot, go to reset. And there it goes going. So while this is going, it's doing its thing, right? It's flashing this section 80 board. Let's uh, see if it worked over here on this minion. So we're going to run Marauder right now. Turn the flipper zero on. Oh, we can see that she's running already. That's cool. And the Section 80 board, it's now at 48%. Boom. There. Oops. Sorry about that. Let's fix this camera. There we go. It's still going, and I'm going to test Wi-Fi Marauder. Let's see if it works. Well, look at that. It certainly did work, didn't it? So while we're flashing these other boards, doing all this other stuff, we can test. Oh, and now this has told me right here with this cool little picture that we finished flashing our Section 80 board. So while we were flashing Section 80, we were testing the minion and it works so now we can take the minion off here we go take the minion off we can take the section 80 off of the super serial board 
We can plug this in if we want. Boom. Let's see if we get a light up. Let's check it out. So if we go to Marauder. And there it is. So this one is working, absolutely. And that flashed off of the Super Serial board. Now, let's take one, um, this one's a, a little bit more involved, not, not really difficult, but involved to flash. And this one is the Mayhem for Flipper. And Mayhem is also included on a lot of the custom firmwares for the flipper. And it has a lot of different stuff, right? It, and it's got the, um, all the Wi-Fi stuff. It's got a camera. It's got a little flashlight, um, a bunch of different stuff on it. But let's see if this will flash as well. So for this board, like I said, is just a little bit different. For this board, we have to cross these two wires, the ground and the IO0. So if we can see them here, they're right here. Cross these, hit the button. Hit it, boom, and let's see if I did that correctly. So over here is the software that Mayhem uses. And I just hit install, let's see if it works. COM39, connect, it's initializing, Look at that, totally working. So as this is going, right, we can be testing this device right here. Always make sure you put an antenna on before you start testing this stuff. So we'll stick this antenna on here. And let's see if we get anything cool. So this has its own interface. You can use the flipper interface, but you can use this one as well. Oops. So we'll go to scan APs. And there it is. I'm scanning some APs. So again, I'm testing this thing that I just flashed with the board. This is still going. It's now at 70%. And I'm doing tests. You know, one thing I've always wanted to test with this board, let's do it while we're here, is the Bluetooth attacks. Okay, Sour Apple, let's try that. So let's bring an iPhone up here, hold on. So let's see if this works when we do this Sour Apple attack. Never really, oh, there we go, totally working. <laughs> awesome. So the software 13.10 here um, absolutely also does the Bluetooth stuff. So that's kind of cool. So that is the Super Serial Board by Rabbit Labs, updating not only Rabbit Labs stuff, but a host of other things. Uh, this is also able to update and interface with, oh, and this one's done. It's just got done. You know what? We should test that. We should test this Mayhem board. So I will unplug it. There we go. Unplug this board from the flipper. There we go. Set that aside. Go into here, plug this guy in. So we're now plugging in Mayhem. We're plugging in Mayhem. 
and let's see if we can get some mayhem going here. So I'll go to my apps, GPIO, mayhem, and let's use the camera. Well, let's use Marauder first. Let's check it out. Yep, it's working. So we have updated three different boards uh, made by different entities with this single board, not even using the Flipper Zero. Let's check out, see if the camera works. Oh yeah, camera works. Nifty, nifty. Morse Flasher, let's do a little SOS. Oh yeah, it's working. Very cool. Okay, you can stop now. Motion detection, do some motion detection. So it's training itself and it's hitting. Yep. <laughs> Very cool. So again, we've updated three different boards from three different makers, three different boards, three different makers with the same board, the super serial board by Rabbit Labs. What a cool little thing.